So the general second degree equation in X and Y represents, as we have seen, curves, special curves, which are called conic sections or a special type of geometrical figure called pair of straight lines, which basically just represents two straight lines, which intersect each other at some point or may do not intersect also. So what is the condition of the coefficients of this equation such that the second degree equation in X and Y will fall into any one of these categories. So as it happens, there is a certain condition which decides whether the given second degree equation in X and Y represents a conic section that is a curve or it simply represents a pair of straight lines. ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. This is the general equation of second degree. And the combined equation of a pair of straight lines is also of the form ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. If the following condition is satisfied. The determinant formed by A, H, G, H, B, F, G, F, C equals 0 along with the condition that H square should be greater than AB, G square is greater than AC and F square greater than BC. Now this is a slightly hard determinant to remember. You have to re remember that A, H and G come in the first row, H, B, F in the second row and G, F, C come in the third row. So you can use a uh, memory aid to remember this. A, H, G, H, B, F. You can use this memory aid to remember which coefficient comes in which row of the determinant. So therefore, all represents the first alphabet of the letter all represents A, the coefficient A, which is the coefficient of x square. So you can represent this using this memory aid. I just made it up, but you can use anything that you feel like also. All happy guys, have breakfast and then go for cinema. So this is just a simple memory aid, a simple sentence to help you remember the coefficients which come in this determinant in what order so that the determinant can be equated to zero and hence you can find the condition for the second degree equation to represent a pair of straight lines. So this determinant should be equal to zero.